Dogs, what's up, man? Welcome to Drake's Kitchen, where we're open 247-365. Today we got plantain chips. We got two different types. We got cinnamon, sugar, and salt. Uh, I'll show you a later clip in the video how to make this uh, cinnamon topping. Uh, it's pretty simple, only like four or five ingredients. But we'll start with the plantains. For the sweeter ones, you're gonna go with the more darker, like this. The darker it is, the more brown spots, the sweeter it is. Almost like a banana. And then the ones less sweet, these are going to be more towards the so-so mellow side of we're going to do these salted. So we're going to cut these up. Let's start with one of them just so you see how to cut them. So first you start with the tops. Then you're going to score it. They should peel real easy. Peel just like a banana. But they aren't bananas guys, they're plantains. And we'll go ahead and do the rest of the four and cut back in. Dogs, we're back. Peel the plantains. Let's turn this oil on. You're going to get it to about 350. Now you can use a candy thermometer or eyeball it, but we'll go for 350. It'll be good. We're just going to cut these suckers up. Nice thin slice. Make sure you don't slice all the way through them. Got a little mess, but try to keep it on. So we'll just cut the rest of them and come back. Nice and sliced, chopped up, even slices, just discs, they're going to be about, mm, I want to say, geez, there goes one. They're going to be about a half inch, slap them all in there. We're going to coat just a little bit of flour, just so they aren't sticking everywhere. We're not going to do a bunch of flour, just a little bit. If you overcoat it in flour, it'll kind of make like a cake. You don't want to do that, we're just kind of doing it just so we can spread it better when we throw it in that oil. Put about a handful of flour, just kind of toss it in there real quick. You can put sugar in it. I wouldn't recommend it because it's going to ruin your oil. We'll save the sugar topping for later. And we're going to come over to oil bath over here. We're about at 350 now. What we're going to do is we're going to pop. Just pop these suckers right in there. Just make sure you lay them flat. And they're going to cook for, I want to say, about a minute and a half. They'll get a nice crisp. It'll be really good. You don't have to fill up the whole pan, but you can fill up most of it. We're going to do a couple batches. So we'll get this one filled up. We'll grab a pan to catch the suckers and cut back to you guys. Just for catching it, we're gonna go ahead and flip a couple of these suckers. This is kind of what you're gonna be looking for. You don't have to fill all the oil to the brim. You see how we kind of have it a little bit up there. We did a thicker slice because we're. It's not gonna be super crunchy, but it's gonna be crunchy with a chew. Uh, the thinner you slice it, the crunchier it's gonna be. They so can make them like chips, like they do at the store. Way better than store-bought, guys. Don't buy those store-bought bags. Those are pretty nasty, especially when you eat these. Just do your best to flip each and every one. You can cut them long slices, too, so they're easier to flip next time instead of discs. But they all taste the same. They all go down the same. They're all good. We're going to throw these with cinnamon. So we're going to throw them on this pan right here just to get the oil off. Let those crisp up just a little more and then we'll toss them in a bowl and toss them in some cinnamon. It'll be good guys. Alright. Yo guys, welcome back to Drake's Kitchen. Uh, this is the topping for the plantain chips. What we're going to do is we're going to start with some sugar. We're going to do some cinnamon. Some brown sugar and a pinch of nutmeg. This is just a quick topping for it. Uh, you can do salt, you can do cinnamon sugar, uh, you can even just do plain sugar. But we're gonna do cinnamon sugar on this one and salted. Go to four. We're gonna mix this sucker up real quick and this is all you're gonna top them with. I'll put in the bottom of the YouTube video the exact amount of each. We're gonna slap the plantains right inside this bowl. We already made that cinnamon sugar. Just put these right in here. We'll do the salted ones later. 
and grab a little bit of salt just to offset that sweet sugar. For the salter ones, that's all you do. Is you sprinkle a little more salt than that, do about three times more than that. Sugar, we're gonna put about uh, that much in. Just toss them up. They have that oil on it, so it's kinda gonna coat it for you. There you guys go, cinnamon plantains. We'll have the salt ones coming up, and I'll show you how to make the icing shortly. Alright guys, these are for the plain salted ones, same concept, same thing. Pull them off the skillet, slide them on there, let that old excess oil drip off. You guys are probably asking why 350, why not 375, or why not 325. When the oil is too low, it'll absorb a lot of oil into the food. When it's too high, uh, it'll burn the mess out of it. <laughs> and it won't taste good, it'll taste burnt. So when it's too low, it'll taste like sog and grease, and no one likes to eat sog and grease. So what we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna slap these in here, same thing. We're gonna toss these just in salt, though. So we're gonna do a little more salt on these. Same thing, just toss them around. And that's it. Really simple. And yet, they're super good. So we got salted plantains, cinnamon plantains, and now we're gonna start on the icing and the chocolate sauce. All right guys, got some ingredients. Uh, back in Drake's kitchen, we're gonna do some chocolate sauce now. So we're gonna start two tablespoons of butter. This is for the icing. We're not gonna make a huge batch, but we're gonna make just enough for that. So we're just gonna heat that up just a little bit. Now this is for the chocolate sauce. We're gonna use a semi-sweet slash dark chocolate. Just gonna mix that together. We're gonna do about that much. And I wanna say that's about a cup of chocolate chips. So with a cup of cho chocolate chips, you're gonna do about one tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of peanut, or not peanut butter, milk. I was thinking of Reese's, sorry about that, guys. All right, so the butter's a little bit softened. We don't want it all the way melted, you just kinda want it softened because you want the icing to be a little bit clumpy. We're going to microwave the chips. You don't want to obliterate them in the microwave. In the microwave for four minutes, you'll burn the chips. So start with a minute at a time. So we'll do one minute at a time. So we've got a minute going. Let's get on this icing. It's kind of, butter's a little soft, so let's kind of push it down. Get it a little bit mixed in. So now what we're going to do, we're actually going to add a little bit of milk to this. So we're actually going to take it a little bit from the chips. I mean, you can use the same stuff, but the chips didn't melt through. We're just going to pour a little bit off of it. We'll add a little bit of chocolate in the icing too. Let's pour that right in there. Close that back up, start our chips back. Now, I always eyeball the powdered sugar. <clears throat> you can start out with about a cup of it. I usually eyeball it, so we're going to pour in just about here. We aren't going to go for a super, super thick icing. We like it a little bit runny. Um, that way, chips can actually dip in there. Then we're going to use a pure vanilla. Uh, this is actually a Mexican vanilla. Actually, it's only been, in, or you can only get it in Mexico, but I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. You'll add about mm, two teaspoons of that uh, to about a tablespoon. I like a lot of vanilla, so I always juice it up. Gonna mix that around. You can use a clear vanilla so you don't get this brownish color, um, just so you can have a better color to it. But it's a homemade icing. It'll taste really good. That's what I care about, taste, not look. So we're gonna just turn this Mix it around a little bit. It looks like it's a little bit thick. So we're gonna add a little more milk to it just to get it a little more runnier. I just heard our microwave beep, so check on the chocolate real quick. Kind of see how the chips are melting a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stir those around just a little bit, just to kind of get them mixed through. And then we're gonna toss it right back in the microwave. The reason why we don't want to obliterate it is because a microwave isn't even cooking, but it's a lot quicker than a double boiler. A lot of people don't like to double boil because the mess, your chocolate can seize up, 
because you get water in it. Long story short, microwave is super easy. So now we're coming back to this icing. Still a little bit too thick. We'll add a little bit of milk to it. We added just about, I want to say a teaspoon right there. I'll put the exact um, combination and the amount of ingredients at the bottom of the YouTube video. It's just kind of eyeballing. That's usually what I do. I've been doing it long enough. So now what you can do, add some salt. This will hint off on the sugar. That will make it taste. It, it seems like when, when people put sugar on sugar, it's too sweet with the salt. It will kind of tone it down and uh, make it more mellow. So now this is the type of texture we're looking for, almost like a, a pancake batter. Just kind of runs right through the fork. It's okay to have a little bit of clumps here and there. Um, we aren't looking for like a super smooth icing. You kind of want it clumpy because when you put it on those warm plantains, you get the mix of butter melted, icing, it's a good mix. So we're just going to take those just like this, kind of let it run through and we're going to just run it right across. You can use two forks for a better uh, drop down. And show you it. You're having two forks, you stack them right on top of each other. Kind of pick it up and just go like this. And it holds a little more icing to it and it drizzles it a little bit better. And just one more, and then we'll save the rest just for dipping. A lot of people like extra. Now we'll come back to the chocolate sauce. Looks like after that second minute we got a good microwave going. Kind of see how it's clumping together. That's what you want. It's not going to be super runny. Uh, we want it kind of thick and gelatinous. Just so you can kind of scoop it up kind of on your plantain. So we got the salted plantains. We got the cinnamon sugar plantains with icing. And if you're really feeling crazy, dip the cinnamon sugar in the chocolate. And it's bomb. Thanks for watching, guys.